go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Why Mazi Unamdekano asks for liberation of humanity? Why Unamdi Kano ask for the liberation of humanity? To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. I have stated numerous times that mortal creatures have been made up of beings and humans, and any being whose human component is not engaged and properly fostered has the potential to become more powerful than all world creatures combined. This is due to the fact that only mortal beings have the ability to turn anything into a weapon. Only mortals are capable of conducting research, developing dangerous chemicals, an agent and employing them. Furthermore, beings believe they own themselves. Other people and places in this world. This flies in the face of the obvious fact that every mortal being is a byproduct of two strangers' sexual intercourse and arrives into the into this otherwise unknown world totally naked empty and dead helpless hopeless useless and vulnerable to the extent that they must totally depend on other people for their survival beings also believe that mortal beings belong to the animal kingdom are primar are primates to apes and monkeys and are higher or more intelligent animals. This is, in spite of the fact that apes, monkeys and all other animals depend totally on mortal beings and on nature for the reproduction of the standard food, they universally consume worldwide, from species to species. In addition, in the animal kingdom itself. Apes, monkeys, dogs and elephants are higher and more intelligent. Animals compared to goats, sheep and squirrels, for example, academically educated beings know that it is foolish to prefer golden eggs to the G's that lead them. But they instigate and all carry out killings and destruction of mortal beings. Who recreate from things already created, give names and value to everything that has meaning and value. There weren't things like money, crude oil, science or religion if not for mortal beings. They kill for things they don't own. Things they didn't create, things they didn't bring into this world, and things they can never be able to take out of this world. Irrespective of the evil alliances, secret societies, and ammunition they formed against humanity, they are blind to the fact that these things must reject, deny, disown abandon and denounce each of them as the most depart from this world alone, lonely and empty and dead. Mortal beings are not animals, but beings operating without the human component, a sub-animal in behavior and action. Just take a good look at Boris Johnson in this video clip and understand what I mean. 
being the made up of stark illiterate and academically educated intellectuals, who may appear as geniuses in the eyes of stark illiterate beings but foolish in the eyes of intellectuals who are human beings. Stark illiterate beings are evil tools in the hands of academically, religiously educated intellectuals. Academically educated being operating without the human component is far dangerous that stark illiterate being operating without the human component. This video clip below explains it. Mazio Namdekano is an intellectual, a human being and a great asset to humanity. He coined the very useful word intellectual, see below for meaning and understanding. In this transient life, we have stark illiterate intellectuals and intellectuals now locate where you belong stack illiterate these are people with or without academic education that are conditioned by intellectuals they believe in and depend on intellectuals irrespective of how many times intellectuals lie deceive steal exploit and dehumanize them they even fight for or defend intellectuals when slave and destroy them. Likewise, they are beings who operate without the human component and serve as dangerous tools in the hands of intellectuals. No matter how many times intellectuals betray and create problems for them, they still look up to intellectuals for solutions. Intellectuals, these are beings operating without human components, who are conditioned by their manufacturing and all manufactured parent, ancestors, praise singers with man made limited academic and religious knowledge. They have top marks in their first, second, and doctorate degrees, and expert in their chosen fields of academic and divorce. They analyze on based on their plausible academic parameters but can't do enough to critically analyze in order to understand how limited man-made academic and religious educations are not only that but they always sound impressive to stark illiterate but foolish to human beings intellectuals risen from other parts of their body not their brains hence they are blind to the fact that nothing is original from mortal beings, therefore nothing deposited in this world by them, their parents and ancestors, is no can be limitless or without room for improvement. They, they are liars who claim to own the future, even when it is obvious that no mortal being is guaranteed tomorrow. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop.